In this experiment, we're going to look at how curdled creamer does some interesting things in a cup of coffee. To do this, we're going to have to use hot, acidic coffee. I use Arabica to do these experiments. And soy creamer works really well because the soy proteins curdle and coagulate, producing low density kind of tofu particles, flakes, sediments. Some people find this kind of, well, disgusting, disturbing, but it actually doesn't taste bad with the soy creamer and it's good for experiments. Okay, so the swirling flow leads to centrifugal rolls and the convection pulls them down. And then once you lose out on the swirl, once the swirl dissipates, then it becomes a vertical problem with buoyancy taking over, the tofu floats up, and the coffee sinks down, separates. And so this separation of these two phases produces an upward propagating compaction front in the tofu layer. You can see it happening there. As the coffee drains out of the tofu, you get these drainage channels and a compacting layer of tofu at the top. Let's see it again in another experiment on another day, different coffee, different creamer, same process. The minute things stop spinning and swirling, it becomes a vertical problem. So you change regimes very cleanly and you compactify your tofu layer. Do we see this in nature? Yeah, it happens in sea ice as it's forming. This kind of compaction occurs in magma chambers and probably even at the sediments that likely exist at the top of Earth's core. So we can use our cup of coffee once again to essentially understand the entire universe.